health, inspiration, love, life. Peace, peace, family. I got a special guest on my show today. This is Health, Inspiration, Love Life Television. Um, we met briefly on Facebook. I saw the man with a shovel and a hard hat. And he's talking about he's building another um, development. And I knew I had to have a conversation with this man because I felt his energy. And I knew he's doing some special things in Raleigh, North Carolina and abroad as well. Um, his name is Mr. James Monahue. Um, I'm happy to have you on my show today, sir. How you doing today? Doing well, doing well. Thanks for having me. So let's talk about your company and exactly what you do. I did a little research on it, F7 um, International Inc. And what does that company really represent and what does it do? Uh, F7 actually stands for uh, Faith in Action. Faith in Action. Uh, it, it's based on the premise, biblical principles, that if you know faith without works is dead. Mm. So everything we do, we do with a purpose, and we're here to serve people and serve people that serve people. So that's what we do. We do real estate development, product development, uh, government relations, general contracting, and you name it, we, we, we do it. That's awesome. We were just talking um, earlier. What is What drives you to keep going, legacy, and doing the special things that you do? Uh, kind of what drives me is understanding, you know, where, where we come from. I grew up uh, half a mile down the street in Southgate. And uh, when I was coming up, there was not a lot of positive uh, role models and influences that I saw on a daily basis. Um, and I said that when I got to be a certain age and, and, and stature, I would turn around and try to reinvest in the same community that, that raised me and encourage young folks that, uh, you know, might not see a, a positive way out. That's awesome. Um, also, when I was looking into your um, website, I saw sister, um, sister, was it sister states or uh, sister, sister cities? Sister cities, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I saw you in uh, Japan, I think. And I China. saw you in China. Yeah. I saw you in Kenya, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yes. And um, you're making relationships abroad, too. Right. So explain what sister cities are. Well, sister cities, we've set up several sister cities over the last few 15 years, uh, both in Africa and China. Um, and uh, actually we set up Raleigh with a sister city, Nightdale, Greensboro, we helped Durham set up sister cities. Uh, we helped set up sister cities in uh, Nairobi, Kenya with Raleigh. And what that does is it's uh, a premise based on getting to know one another and trying to encourage uh, business, educational, science and technology and different fields to cooperate so that we can grow together uh, as a, as as a global society. Wow. So that's really making connections and bridging the gap on cultures and um, their, we're understanding their culture and they understand in our culture and hardships of what we face over here yes. and them as well. That's amazing, man. And open up opportunities. So, and open yeah. opportunities as well. Right. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, as far as the real estate, how many projects you currently got going on and what buildings do you own? You just told me and I was just amazed that the actual building we're in now, you own and you own the land as well, oh, which yeah. is amazing. Yeah. Well, we're, we're sitting here now in Elders Peak. Um, I bought this land back in 19, no, 20, 2000. 2000. Uh, built the building, uh, $4.8 million back in 2004. Um, and like I said, we own it 100% leased out. Um, and we're looking to do more phases of this building, which is uh, Elders Peak 2. We're working on that now. Uh, we also own Statue Side Business Plaza on the corner of MLK and Rock Quarry as well as the land across the street. We're going to do a mixed-use development there. Um, working to do some affordable housing out in Wake Forest. It's amazing. Yeah, so and then we've got another shopping center that we're building down on Rock Quarry that we'll go to uh, later on to, to show Wait, you. Wait, hold up. You said a shopping center. Another shopping center, yeah. Uh, wait, what shopping, center do you, <laughs> what shopping center do you have now, sir? Uh, that was called Statue Side Business Plaza. I built that in 1999. Wow. Yeah, so we'll probably go to that one, too, uh, when we leave. As well as we're working on a mixed-use development with a St. Augs CDC, a uh, three-story project on the corner of uh, Tarboro and Lane Street. And that's a very exciting project. Wow. 
So we got several. It's just so many, man. I'm, I'm trying to name them all. No, no, you don't have to, man. I think they, I think they're gonna get an idea that you into some heavy positive stuff, man. And um, I think it's very important. It speaks volumes to the community that you're providing um a space for the elderly. Um, to be here and especially the low income housing you brought up with Wake Forest because stuff is getting expensive. Yes. Um, a lot of people are migrating to Rally. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think Rally is the second or third fastest growing city in the country. Yeah, behind Austin, I think. Behind Austin, behind Austin yeah, Texas. Yeah. And that's a tough act to follow. It, it is, man. Yeah. It is. Um, it's exciting, but also. Um, we already know it's a big um, gap with the wealth gap. So you need some um, reasonable places to live for our people out here. So um, I, congrat I congratulate you and I salute you on your mission. And um, it's very, very exciting, man. And hopefully I can do some business with you. I just purchased some land. So <laughs> maybe you it, can man. point me in the right direction. <laughs> Let's I believe in strategic partnerships and alliances. That's what I do. That's awesome, man. Yeah. Any inspirational words you have to tell our aspiring youth entrepreneurs coming up? Um, yeah, don't dream small, number one, because uh, anybody can, can accomplish small dreams. You got to dream big so that you'll have something to reach and, and stretch for. Um, and, you know, if you're doing something and people don't call it crazy, then you're doing the wrong thing. Mm. Uh, if it's something that anybody thinks that you can just do, it's not big enough. So you need to actually think big. And do big to be big. So those are my, my inspiring words of the day. That's awesome. Um, if somebody wanted to get in contact with you, um, how can they reach out to you as far as business, a conversation, mentorship, any? Now, how can they reach you, brother? Yeah, my phone number is public, man, 919-796-2546. Uh, email address, that's public as well. Mine is f7 at iCloud.com. Uh, I'm on Facebook, but don't use Facebook Messenger. So don't message me on Facebook. I don't have Messenger. Uh, but, you know, you can reach me on my, my cell or by email at any time. That's awesome. And Black History Month, we are honoring our ancestors, but we're also honoring people that's making history and currently making moves for our community and communities abroad. Again, I thank you for your time. This is Hill TV. This man is out here doing amazing work. Um you already know this is where we get down. We educate and uplift the community with visual media, health, inspiration, love, life. I'm in M.A. Bay, my boat sinking, parents to drown, teach your children to swim, the island is knowledge, economics is college, know your ancestry, supreme power, fear I crush, then I devour, the task not easy, the sharks in the ocean, intoxicate them, I sell them my potion, vision I carry, liberating the children, freedom is vital, breaking the cycle, show